uh, to have as our guest, one of our locas for life, Colleen Brennan. Um, I'm going to read her bio, even though I know all about her. Uh, she's a Chicago-based stand-up comedian, writer, producer, um, produces Waves of Laughter, Momedians of Momedy, and Backroom Comedy at a Live One. She's a wife and mother, graduate of the conservatory program at Second City. She's also received stand-up training at Second City and Feminine Comique. She's a polished performer and has a unique observational angle as a married, visibly stable, that's good, mother. I, uh, she highlights yeah. the hilarious details about life as a human. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I love that. I need to write my bio. <laughs> Mine's all angry. Thank you. And yeah. good. Oh my God. So first off, how you doing in the Rona? How's it going? You know, um, we're, I'm, as if I have multiple personalities, we're great. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> not. Wait, which one? Which one? No, I'm which good. One? I'm not, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what Kelly need to, I could do. Um, no, I'm good. It's, you know, I mean, it's, if I see one more, we're all in this commercial, or together yeah. commercial, I'm going to lose. Somebody, like, yeah. I want to see Someone's gonna the, die. Look, Advertising people, if you're watching, listen to this. I want to see sexy people in sexy bars drinking sexy drinks. Yeah. Please make that one. For, that's my coronavirus commercial that I'm waiting for. Right. You're like, we yeah. need to have something to look forward to, for sure. I need something to look for. I want something aspirational. Right. Not where we are right now. You don't want to see like people like not being able to see their family members through and then like looking through the window. Like that right. shit makes me sadder. Like I don't want to see that either. Right. No, I want to see stuff for birth control. I want to see stuff for like, you know, for spicing up my life. Right, I, want to right. see, I want to see like lingerie for the chance when I won't be like in my house with my children and my husband. You know, I, I want to see, I want to see stuff like that, that will make yeah. me feel like I could be, <laughs> I could be. Like you, you could survive and be sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Other than that, um, you know, I'm running, I'm running an all-inclusive resort for my teenage boys. Um, I am the proprietor. And Are they tipping the, you? Their they're, they're tips include you? <laughs> no. And what I get for it is a lot of, um, a lot of flack, a lot of <laughs> right talk back. A lack of in, a, a lack of gratitude. Um, yeah. Yeah. Resorts like when I die. Awesome. I back, yeah. They abuse the staff, which is me. I love it. So your I'm one sick. son, he was already away, right, at school? Or was this his Yeah, so my oldest started his freshman year of college this year. And uh, we, he, his spring break was actually, they, when he was on spring break, it was like this, it was like the second week of March. And mm -hmm. they, his university was kind of early in, in calling it, but they, yeah, didn't, yeah. they didn't call it for the whole semester. They said, well, we'll start like e-classes like a, a week after break was supposed to end and then we'll be resuming on-campus classes on like March 30th and so he's he's a design student and he needed like um he needed his design tools to right and they were all at the dorm because he was on spring break so I, I agreed to drive him up to his university uh which is like six hours away yeah and, grabbed it and then we just came back we like grabbed it and we came that was like it that was it and the the hour after we got back they called it for the rest of the semester and all of his other stuff is still up in the door so now we gotta go we're gonna go oh back. my god it's fine oh, yeah you were thinking just to just get the minimum you wouldn't you know you yeah. weren't busting the u-haul truck up there oh my god yeah no, but this is part of, you know, transportation is actually part of the all-inclusive environment that we right. have. <laughs> didn't you know when I was out, I'd give you a ride? Yeah. You didn't know that. That's what you signed up for? Oh, my God. But they're being nice, right? I'll go over there and I'll smack them around for you if you want. No, it's fine. I mean, it's From fine. a distance. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take, you know, my next step toward, um, like, getting some compliance is maybe just, like, you want to really torture a teenage boy? Take the bathroom door. What I lost you right there. Hide. I said, you, want to, you want to you want to torture a teenage boy? Mm -hmm. Like threaten to take the bathroom doors off and, and hide. Oh God, that's more torture for you. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Boys have no shame. They don't care. Just be dropping a deuce while you walk by. What's up, uh, mom? 
I'm gonna flush it for you. Sorry, I grew up with two older brothers. I know, I know that would really happen. <laughs> right. Probably. Well, how are, how are they doing? Are they cracking up or you're cracking up or I'm cracking up a little bit. No, actually, I, I will, you know, uh, you know me. I'm always joking. Yeah. And uh, they're doing they're actually they have pretty good attitudes. Um for, I mean, you know, I, I don't know what to say. We're we're okay right now. Like yeah. nobody's nobody in my family is sick. Uh, we can feed ourselves. Um, I can still work and, and get paid. Um, my kids are actually trying to do e-learning. So, I mean, as far as we're concerned, we're okay. You know? Yeah. Things are good at my resort. Yeah, things are good. I think that parenting is all about tapping into the right emotions, you know? You gotta tap into the emotions of your kids. I don't ground my kids. I, I've never withheld privileges. I've certainly never spanked them or anything like that because I don't want them to feel shame. I don't want them to feel ashamed. What I really want them to feel is embarrassed. <laughs> That's why I dance. <laughs> Hey boys, saw that somebody left their dirty clothes on the bathroom floor again. You gotta pick those up. Pick them up and come to your school. You guys like that, wouldn't you? They're really good boys. Thanks so much. You guys are good. Cool, right? Or the spa? You can go over there. <laughs> okay, super side note to everybody. Can I share this? I don't even know if it's a real story. It's, oh, people it's, might it's see this and know. It's a real story, but I feel like we shouldn't share. I feel like we shouldn't share. I feel like we shouldn't. Just in case. I just, it's a real story. It, that's why, that's why we this. share. Okay, send me an email if you want to know the scoop. Um, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Colleen's neighbors there. Uh, yeah. How do you like, um, how are you dealing with, um, all this from like a comedy side because it kind of was it's kind of, I mean you were performing so much and like producing all these shows um yeah I feel like that hurts more for me like than the job stuff because my kind of work is you know kind of can't promote things to people when you're not allowed to go out in public so right so my business is like now what really sucked was the comedy and not being able to do that because I'm like well at least I have that and then I was like so that's why I'm doing this so yeah um how are you feeling about that are you like writing are you doing anything fun or uh, I, <laughs> Being yeah, a yeah, I'm writing the for our resort. Um, yeah. it's free, uh, for the kids who come. Um, no, I, um, I've not found it easy mm -hmm. to, uh, write during all this. I, I wrote a parody for, um, Sweet Home Chicago called Stay oh, Home it. Chicago. It was cute. I forced my uh, older son to do it with me because he's a good guitarist and he agreed to do it, which is great. And we filmed it and like, I should have filmed it a couple more times to like make it better, but there was just no way he was going to, he just wasn't going to do it. He wasn't up for multiple takes. He just, he, he's he, like, yeah, me one time. God, like, even though you're like cleaning his room, you're running the resort. He couldn't give you like a couple more minutes. I don't think you understand how outnumbered I am as a woman in this house. Like, I have a husband and two sons. That's it. Most testosterone. That's it. it. Oh. So, so, yeah, I'm, um, so, yeah, so if anybody wants to go check that out, just, you know, view it multiple times, send it out. I mean, it may be embarrassing. I'm not sure, but I had to do something. Um, oh, I love it. So I did that. Kind that of was like two weeks ago. You, like, inspired me. I was like, okay, she's doing something. I saw other people doing shows. And I was like, but I still wasn't feeling it until like this week. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's weird. It's weird. And, and um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what else to say. I, I, I really, for the first time I put up, I realized number one, I have like no videos of me performing comedy that I like. And so I finally put up. Do you not up like a, any of them? 
I, so I, put up, I had to put up a clip about the apocalypse, like one of my one of my earliest jokes. I wrote it a long time ago, and it's not like polished or anything. But I'm like, screw it, I'm throwing it up on YouTube. Okay. So I threw that up. So I'm kind of, I started a YouTube. You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of proud of my very lame two video YouTube channel. But you should definitely go check it out, Colleen Brennan um, on, on YouTube, comedian. Yeah. Oh. You have like 100 subscribers to get your back. Were you able to do that already? Get your private <laughs> URL. You can search you. I'll, I'll follow you. Yeah, you have to get 100 subscribers to um, get your custom. No, I think I have two. You have two. I have two, two subscribers. My mom and my dad. No, right. I'm <laughs> get two separate accounts. They're like, we'll just share. You're like, no. I love it. No. Then the other three will be your two sons and your husband. Okay. I'll stop right. So, um, so yeah, I, I just, I'm starting to, I'm starting to now kind of think about like, ooh, how am I going to, how am I going to jump back in? Uh, you know, so, well, you know, well, I don't know. Do you have, I'm so uninspiring. Oh, like, do you yeah, no, yeah. No, I just was kind of allowing myself the space to not do anything for a minute. Cause my, yeah. my brain was somewhere else. I was trying to track down all these government loans and crap and a lot of that didn't pan out or what, I don't know. I guess, uh. You know, like Hilton got it, but not small businesses. I don't know. I'm making it up. I don't know if Hilton got it. But it's stuff like that. Yeah, like yeah. total disparity and like the whole process. Um, so I just like let myself feel all those feelings because, but then I, I don't know. I woke up Monday. I was telling Lily B this. I was like, I woke up Monday and I was like, I'm going to just start interviewing people on Zoom and, you know, let's just do something. So that's yeah. all. This is my contribution to the world. I said, this is nothing. This is somebody that nobody wanted. <laughs> something that nobody wanted. But you're getting it anyway. You don't know that. Damn it. You don't know that. This right. might be exactly what they need. We're going to get at least three views, and two of them will be your parents. The other one will be my mom. <laughs> my dad doesn't have a YouTuber Gmail. He wouldn't do it. So, um, But I'll see if I can wrangle in some other family members. Um, so what's, um, what do you think, like, I'm just, like, kind of asking people, what's, like, the predictions? When do you think, like, you'll actually be able to do comedy in a room again? Do you think, like, I'm debating, like, will people just do super small shows and everybody stand six feet apart, or is nobody going to do it until we can do it? You know what I mean? I don't know. I just don't. I mean, for 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 backroom comedy, we're sort of venue specific, right? Because right. we do it at a live one, and and they've been amazing and wonderful. It is an it is an outstanding room. I'm so happy that we're there. Um, my co-producers are wonderful. You know, will I I think. I think we'll probably decide together with the bar as to how to proceed for that yeah. show. For my medians, you know, May was a, a big month for us because, you know, mothers, mothers you know, that whole thing. Uh, so we, we canceled, you know, we had to cancel all of our shows, but that we don't have, we float, you know, from venue to venue. Right. My medians to different locations around the suburbs and city. So, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I've been tossing, a lot of these, you know, here's the deal. I go from being like manically hopeful. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is this is it. This is the this is the reset we needed. It's the reset we needed, and I'm gonna be at the forefront. And then I hit like <laughs> the downturn. I broke the depression in like an hour. Yeah, I know. Me too. But you know, I mean, so like my my real income um, right now is you know. I'm a speech language pathologist. I'm fortunate I can see kids. I can, st I work with children. I can still do teletherapy with them. So, but it's exhausting. It's mm -hmm. just a different, it's like putting on an individualized television show for each and every patient. Um, so I will say that at the end of the work day, I feel like I'm given a show. <laughs> <laughs> a very long Really? Well, thank you and scene it was amazing yeah. Yeah. yeah no i i can imagine yeah but it's uh so i don't I, janice i don't know i think i i just don't know i i do think it'll i feel like we're all sad we're like tell us more um yeah no i don't know either and i think um i was kind of like listening to kelsey and kelsey's like just put it up there love kelsey huff um yeah. and it's just like yeah i'm like sitting here trying to plan this whole thing and i'm like no nah. Well, I pr we'll probably do like a last Locust show. Like at first I was like, nobody's going to do it. Nobody's going to listen to it. There's no laugh. I'm like, um, maybe there's a way we have a bunch of people on it and 
kind of let certain people in the room and they laugh. I don't know. Um, I haven't thought yeah. it, thought it well out yet, but um, I don't. I mean, I obviously comedy's getting me through. I mean, all the dark humor, all the memes, and all that. Like, yeah. I think it gave us like permission to laugh about it because yeah. it's really sad and scary and has affected a crap ton of people. And I'm so I don't mean to make light of it, but I kind of I needed that laugh though. <laughs> so I'm glad like we kind of all have a little bit of a sixth sense of humor too. <laughs> to be able to yeah. you know, I will pain. Yeah. I will say this, this is really funny. Like my, my kids, like being around my kids so much. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, they don't want to do anything with us. I just, I, I just want to make it perfectly clear. My children don't want to play games with us. They don't want to have family meals together. Nobody wants to watch a movie together. Like I've got all these friends who are like, oh, it's so great to reconnect with my kids. Nobody is reconnecting with me. I think they were so happy that I was out of the house performing at night. I'm like, look, I'm home now. Oh, and they're like, like, be a family. They're like, oh, yeah. Screw but, that um, mom. Yeah. Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> um, that's horrible. But they're, they're, they've, I, I feel like they've, as they've gotten older, they've given themselves more permission to say the funny things that are on their minds that they okay. didn't feel like they could say before. And now it's like, I mean, my husband said to me the other day, I got to take you downstairs. I got to show you something downstairs. And I was like, okay, I'm coming. I'm like, what are you going to show me? And my youngest son yells out, he's going to show you his next three choices for his second wife. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, this is wow. I'm so right. curious. That's so funny. I was so my baby. <laughs> you, my baby. Wait, so he just takes the food right to his room, um, avoids you at all costs, and then tells you about his new stepmom. Classic. <laughs> this kid. Throws his ear in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what Mother's Day, a bag of dog shit? Like, what, what, what exactly. is possibly going to happen here? Oh, geez. For Mother's Day, they'll rinse off their plates and put them in the dishwasher. That's it. Thanks, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Appreciate everything you do. Uh, <laughs> that's my teenage voice. I was like, hey, Mom. <laughs> I'm like, not playing video games right now. I don't know. Is that what kids sound like? I think, I don't know. I don't know. Again, I make a lot of jokes. They're good boys. They're good. I know, they are. They're very good kids. I've met them several times. Okay. They're, they're, met they're, them? they're a good line. Cool. I'm going downstairs to talk to Janice now. And they're like, oh yeah, Janice. I'm like, yeah, yeah. she's cool. <laughs> yeah. Not your, not your new wife. Um, what about talking about no. your new husband? Come on now. You still right? got it, Colleen. You still got I it. I do. I, I got. <laughs> you still got it. What? I know. <laughs> yeah, I Let's. Uh, I tried to like do my eyebrows, and like they're just the worst, and the arch is all off, and uh, yeah, yeah. My <laughs>